Harry is the one that set up this prank. <laughs> Listen, Wait, he, he called the freaking UD office to set up a prank? Okay. Why would they even do that? My name is Russell, and I run a YouTube channel called Ownage Pranks. How the, how the hell did he even contact? Wait so, wait, so you have nothing to do with the university? No, basically, you know, I've been doing this prank thing for a while now, so I have some software set up on my end that allows me to uh, change the caller ID to any number that I choose. So just to kind of really maximize believability, it, it was showing the uh, university number, as you saw. There's nobody named Ty there's nobody named Tyrone or Abdo or any of these fucking crazy ass names or anything like that at the office. I didn't want you to go run there and start like wreaking havoc and then people being like, "Dude, what the hell is wrong with you? Nobody talked to you today." <laughs> How the hell did he even get in contact with you? All right, let, let me give you. Let, I'll give, I'll tell you what he told me just to give you some context. Uh, let me pull it up real quick. So this is what he said. So here's the situation. One of my good friends goes to the University of. Last year, he was living in James Smith Hall dorm room in 305B in a single suite. He liked the room and decided to rebook it for the fall semester of 2014. He even had to pay a $200 reservation fee. When he drove all the way up to UD to book it on August 26th on the mandatory check-in day, he was told that his room had been double booked by a mistake and that there was another guy already in the room. He was beyond pissed. And then there's like another two paragraphs about the situation and kind of gave us some details about it and how you hated being offered the refund, hence why I was pushing the refund and the whole like 210 thing, then 225. <laughs> That little douchebag. But dude, you should get him back. Wait, so I, so I still could get my room back then. There, there's still a chance. Yeah, like with... I mean, it'd be it'd be pretty wild if the university was actually talking to you like that. But at the same time, dude, I swear to God, I was fucking on my skateboard right now, fucking skating up there. <laughs> dude, I was so pissed. Well, I, I'm sorry about the situation, bro. I hope you even work for them. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that you are able to fucking get that room back. I know that's a super city situation, but you know, no need to sleep earlier or cuddle with your roommate. You know, none of that actually has to happen. No, no finders keepers, losers weepers. Dude, are you fucking said to say finders keepers? I was like, are you fucking joking? It's ridiculous, dude. I was dude when I told you to tiptoe around the room and work your calf muscles. I was gonna fucking lose it and start laughing so hard. Oh my god, dude! I. I it, Dude, I couldn't even fucking say anything. It took every like, ounce of my being to not fucking <laughs> giggle at that line. Dude, I was dying, but you were awesome, dude. Your reaction was so amazing. Jesus but you, You're also like a really awesome sport, too, so I commend you for that. And again, don't go wreak havoc at the, at the uh, university office, but hopefully they'll hit you up at the end of the week and actually get it sorted for you because I know how stressful that must be. <laughs> Wait, dude, what a douchebag. Wait until I see him. <laughs> <laughs> dude oh man i can't wait so um is it cool with you if he posts this on youtube with like your name censored out and stuff yeah yeah it's not, i don't care all right sweet you're the man um when you're when you're free check out some of this stuff on the channel maybe you and your roommate can check it out together <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one last real. joke dude sorry had to do it all right bro <laughs> take it easy man and uh don't forget to fucking yell at your buddy harry oh i will <laughs> <laughs> all right see you all right all right see you <laughs> yes Oh, man, that was fucking wild, dude.